Hey guys, welcome back to LS Tech. It's your boy Lucky, and today I've got a 14 inch notebook, laptop, whatever you want to call it. It's a 14 inch. Um, it's from this company called Do You Do You. I'm gonna leave a link in the description, guys, if you do want to check it out. But it's a one of the budget laptops, so yeah, it's for just under 200 pounds. So if you do want to check it out, that will be link in the description, guys. So let's unbox this and see what we got inside. So the laptop is wrapped in this plastic. Got some more documents. Got the power brake. So inside you've got the power brake itself. Got your charging and I'm assuming it's just some sort of charging. It's not USB-C or any fancy that. It's just a simple charger. I know USB-C would have been nice. You've got a user guide, which is in Chinese, very useful. You've got the laptop itself. So this is a budget end laptop. I hope the Windows it's loaded is in English. Oh well, yeah. So this is the laptop itself, it's in this silver color as you can see. On the bottom we've got some specs details as well. So it is running an Intel X5 C8 350 processor which is a Atom processor with 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigabyte of SSD. So no slow speeds and it's got a 14 inch full HD IPS display which I am very eager to see IPS so so yeah this is the laptop itself it's a plastic laptop but it has this metal feel as you can see no logos at the top which I really like the hinge it's nice and sturdy as you can see so that's good you've got a full size keyboard and it's not going to be some fancy keyboard layout fancy mechanic or anything like that simple let's see if this have backlit let's power it on and see if it will turn on first of all so it looks like eh, wait it is turning on I've got LED lights there as you can see it is Intel inside so it's an Intel Atom X5 processor which is a quad core processor uh, it's a clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, but it is a turbo boost to 2.2. If you want to do that, it, as I said before, it's got two gigs of RAM. It's just DDR3 RAM, nothing special there. 32 gigabyte of internal storage. You do get a USB free port and HDMI and micro SD with your jack as well. So. I'll show you that so you got your USB your audio your SD slot on this side you've got another USB C your HDMI which is mini HDMI and your power port so it looks like it's in Chinese it's on bluing someone plugged in oh. And it is in English, so that is very good. So it is preloaded with Windows 10. Let's just make sure. Mm. No, everything is in English, so that's fine. Let's see, view. Mm. I am looking, I am not very familiar with Windows guys, I just use it to do some editing or some gaming, but mostly I am a Mac person. Let's go to this PC, computer and get to system properties. So yeah, and the specs do confirm them here as well, you do get the an Intel Atom processor that is clocked at 1.4, 2 gigs of RAM, and it's a 64 bit operating system. And as you can see, it is installed with Windows 10 Pro and it's licensed, so 
that is extremely good. It does not feel any slow or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up the Wi-Fi, get some Chrome installed, and I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I spent some time with the laptop itself. Watch some videos, listen to some music, and it's only a first look guys, it's not a full review. I haven't had this for a few weeks, or anything like that. It's only been less than a day. But overall, it feels nice. It is not like it is not super fast, anything like that. It will like open apps, you can close them, videos will play back, and YouTube is working at full 1080, so that's nice. I can play videos, I can have a video playing, I can go on to browsers and go back onto YouTube, open some other stuff. As you can see, it's pretty fast, it's not anything laggy or slow I was expecting not this quick it is nearly some prices of some Chromebooks and this is how they work as well I've had a Chromebook in the past before seems the same speed as that yes it's only two gigs of RAM so you're not gonna get a lot of multitasking but you should be fine to do small tasks it, it should be fine for your day today web browsing emails media streaming netflix amazon video for those things you're gonna have no issues um for word processing words you should be fine as well you can install microsoft on here and you should be fine as well but you're not gonna do anything like hardcore so gaming so i'm not even gonna bother I, i'm gonna give it a try i'm gonna see if i can get fortnite installed gonna try Kodi as well and see how well those works but you're not gonna get any editing work or hardcore gaming done on here for the price yeah it's just a 14 inch IPS display as you can see yeah the display is fine it is it's not super crisp or like that or vivid it's a nice display and for the price you are getting a lot here is a 14 inch tablet full HD as well so that's great the fuel itself it's nice I am not gonna complain here you've got speakers on both sides and they sound very great and um, after I think it's around two hours nearly two, just under two hours of use and I could start to feel a bit of heat here around this area so I don't know what part is on here but that's starting to heat up but it's not like it's extremely hot or anything like that but that's just what I've noticed so far overall as of now it works fine it's as you can see it just boots up logs in things are working you can swipe there's no issue with the keypad it works you can double click and everything that works fine so that's not a problem overall as of now the only thing I can say do let me have spent more time with this laptop before I can give you a full verdict and a full review as of now for what I've used for what I've tried it feels good it's good it's got everything you need at this price range you've got your ports you actually got two USB ports you got your audio your power you do have HDMI I know it's the micro HDMI so that's a bit weird to see that on a laptop but yeah you do have your SD card micro SD if you do want to expand the storage you've got so yeah overall I do think it's a nice laptop I need to spend more time before I can give you some more stuff but overall this is just a quick unboxing and first look of this 14 inch laptop from this company called Didun Didun is a Chinese company but yeah so that is that it's Intel powered so that's a good thing it's not running some media some low-end chipset or some unknown chipset so that's a very great and you do have that full HD display so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one guys take care